Yo, hi guys. I'm uh, I'm here down downtown Portland uh, in Old Town um, at the train station, uh, Union Station. Just about every city has a, a Union Station train station. Uh, this one's built in uh, 1896, so it's quite old uh, and quite beautiful. Um, I want to take you inside real quick and um, just show you a little bit of the, the, the architecture and uh, just what it looks like inside. And um, then I want to talk to you about this tobacco that I'm going to be smoking. I'm not smoking yet. But uh, one of the reasons why I'm here, one of the reasons why I'm here is perhaps you remember uh, the scene from uh, the famous scene. One of the famous scenes from the movie uh, The Untouchables was at uh, Union Station, Chicago. And uh, today I'm smoking uh, The Untouchables really good uh, special tobacco so uh, yeah let me take you inside it's starting to rain out here uh, we'll see what I can do but uh, yeah let me take you inside and show you around show you a little bit of the architecture if you're interested and then uh, let me find some place um, to light this up and talk to you about this good tobacco interesting tobacco I think um, I think quite a special tobacco so anyways um, yeah let's go inside Yeah, so here, here's the train yard where the trains come in, come and go. All our tracks. Yeah, so this is a quite old station. Uh, I'm not sure how much you can see, it's kind of dark and getting rainy. But they've had to uh, they've had to do quite a quite a bit of repairs on it over the years, and they I think they did a major uh, a major repair and rebuild in 1996, something like that. So yeah, that's Union Station here in rainy uh, Portland, Oregon. And there's downtown. It's also, of course, uh, 
a major hub for the the Max line, the public public transportation train uh, and streetcars down here. So. Yeah, no, no high speed rail here. This is the slow, the slow train. But yeah, it's what we have. Yeah, Union Station here. Uh, I just want to talk to you about this this tobacco here uh, that I'm smoking. Uh, I don't have much time in between rainstorms here, uh, springtime in Portland. It's going to be like that. Rain and rain and rain. That's all right. I like the rain. But, yeah, this um, Union Station is an old train station. It's been around for some time, uh, since the 1800s. Um, and they've done some repairs on it. And, um, yeah, so the reason I'm here is uh, this tobacco I'm smoking reminded me of that uh, one of the famous scenes in the movie, uh, The Untouchables, uh, there was a shootout in Union Station, at the train station, and, uh, yeah, it's memorable, I think, and, and famous for various, various reasons, but...
this, honey. Oh, thank you Get so much. Thank you, sir. Are you all right? Thank you. You're such a gentleman. It's so kind of you to help me. I really wasn't sure if we'd make it or not. Is there some problem I can help you with? No. No. I really can't thank you enough. Such a good boy, sweetheart. Thank you again. This is so wonderful. Oh, thank you, sir. Here, please, let me take him from here. You've been such a great help. Thank you so much. Oh, this is almost... I'll take it from here, sir. Thank you very much for your help. Thank you, sir. Don't cry, sweetheart. We're almost home. Is something wrong? Sir? out with the bookkeeper and the bookkeeper and me are driving away <laughs> See? or else he dies he dies Please, and huh? you ain't got nothing you got five seconds to make up your mind I'll tell you I'll tell you what you want to know shut up I'm not kidding that it's crazy you know what to do this I'll tell you what you want to know for Christ's sake you got him? Yeah, I got him. <laughs> you won! Will you stop it? Take him. <laughs> Two. Uh, 
don't have much time, so I just want I just want to tell you about this tobacco I'm smoking before it starts raining again. So this is a special tobacco, I think. It's uh, it's done by Dan Tobacco, and um, it was a, a collaborative effort. Uh, Hans Wiedermann from HU Tobacco, and uh, Michael Apitz from uh, from Dan Tobacco uh, got together and collaborated on this. Um, I think interesting tobacco. Um, just by hearing the ingredients, it may not seem like an interesting or other ordinary or special tobacco, but uh, yeah, I think it is. I think in certain ways uh, you can say that it is, uh, at least for me. It's a, it's a Virginia and, uh, well, mostly Virginias, uh, and a, just a little bit of Black Cavendish thrown in. Uh, for some, for a little bit uh, more body and uh, more sweetness, I think yeah, it's the Untouchables, uh, done by Dan Tobacco. But uh, like I said, it's a it's a collaborative uh, effort uh, done by those two really well known and and well respected uh, tobacco blenders from Dan Tobacco and uh, from HU, of course, with Hans Wiedermann. It's already rubbed uh, tobacco, and when you smell it, I think this is where it begins to uh, to get interesting. So you say, "Okay, there's Virginias. Okay, there's a little bit of the black Cavendish in there." So what could be so special? But when you smell it, uh, it really smells like cedar wood, uh, just like cedar uh, bark. Um, and then just a hint of some kind of floral notes. Um, they say rose uh, aroma. Uh, and these two aromas together just, um, they just really go together really well. And they, they just have this really strong uh, aroma to them that um, just overtakes your senses. Uh, it reminds me of, well, many of you know that when I was younger, uh, I was in the in the Eastern Orthodox Church and for quite a while I worked uh, in the altar uh, assisting the priest um, and one of my main jobs back there of course was preparing the incense um, you had to maneuver the coals around uh, in the in the censer, and then carefully place little pieces of incense onto the charcoal, and uh, get it just arranged, and then have it right on time so you could hand it off to the priest so he could sense um, the holy table and the icons and the the altar area, which is the area that the Orthodox call behind the iconostasis. I don't want to get too much into that, but the point is, uh, it reminds me so much of that, uh, at least one one type of incense that we use that uh, smelled kind of like cedar and uh, real earthy, woody, uh, but also a rose. We also had a, a, an incense that was called rose. and. So it kind of had a floral essence. So both of these combined reminds me of that incense um, from when I was younger uh, and working in the altar, helping in the altar with the priest. But let me show you uh, this tobacco. Like I said, it's a ready rub tobacco. Uh, so it looks, you know, quite normal, like a ready rub. It's medium. There's medium lights and uh, just a little bit of darks in here, I think, but it's a really good looking tobacco. Let me see if I can show you that without dumping it too much. Hopefully you can see that. It's 
a really nice looking tobacco. You can tell by looking at it that it's it's just really good quality uh, tobacco uh, in here. And it behaves like that. Um, it packs really well. Uh, I just rub it out just a little bit uh, just to loosen some of the some of the flake pieces and to get them uh, just kind of swirled in with the rest of the tobacco leaves so there's a good a good mixture and uh, yeah it burns well it doesn't burn hot I don't think and that's an interesting thing for a uh, for Virginia I think Virginia's tend to burn hot but so far I have not had a problem with this this one burning too hot uh, at all so uh, I don't think you get tongue bite with it um, and perhaps it's just that little bit of Cavendish that they put in there that kind of softens it and smooths it out cools it down a little bit uh, adds some sweetness um, yeah so I think it really turns into a really interesting tobacco a really enjoyable tobacco um, yeah, so uh, I think that's it uh, with this tobacco. Mm. It stays lit. Yeah, just good quality um, again. And Dan Tobacco is, uh, well, they're really good on the, the Virginias. Um, and so I think this is another one um, that shines for them. But. It, but bringing uh, Hans Wiedermann in to uh, um, to to lend a, a, another eyesight or point of view to this tobacco, I think took it up even more, perhaps another notch uh, from where it could have been. And so that collaboration just, uh, I think they really did well on this tobacco. Uh, when you're smoking it, it's uh, it's not an overly complex of smoke um, so don't think there's going to be all these different levels and different flavors that are um, yeah that are that are coming in and out and uh, you're, yeah you're not going to get that you're going to get a, a good even um, tasteful smoke and uh, I wouldn't call this an aromatic uh, tobacco it, it certainly has an aroma and it certainly is aromatic in the sense that it that it has those flavors and has those aromas but for me it's uh, it's a natural uh, Virginia with just uh, just a little bit of that aroma added just to heighten the, uh, the, the, the natural flavor of the Virginias uh, and I really like that so I think that's a really good smoke for uh, springtime uh, smoke and perhaps even all through the summer uh, but I really like that they added that that um, the essence of